Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. So, what's your name again? Quartavion. 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 And you are? Theodore. Theodore. So, Theodore, we've been out here showing our people according to the Bible. We guys show the people. So that we have to conduct ourselves not like everybody else in the world. We have to make ourselves separate, right? So we got to tell the people that means we are above everybody else, right? Would you agree with that? So we were showing out the Bible that these things happened to us in, in the Bible, sir. What, I'm sorry, what's your name again? What's up? Theodore. 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 So I want to show you out the Bible really okay. quick. According to the Bible, we got to show the people. You, do you already know that? You heard that yeah. before? Okay. And you know, know that out of the Bible, right? I like that you did. Deuteronomy 28. All right, so according to Deuteronomy 28, we guys show the people. And we have to conduct ourselves in another manner. That's what I was basically about to bring out. So I want to show you some. Go to Deuteronomy chapter 20, 30, and verse 1. Because God, he already knows the beginning from the end, right? So he knew that we were going to get in captivity. But he gave us the solutions in order to get out of it. And he already foretold that we were going to get out of it. Did you get a flower? it was just up to us to be able to come back to God alone. So read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 1. And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing, the blessing and the curse, which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations, whither the Lord thy God hath driven thee. So he said he was going to drive us to these places. It's already foretold in the first five books. That's why I always say right now we living in our last day. Yeah, no, no doubt about to me, it. To me, we living in our last day. There's no doubt about it. You can see all the things that's going. But never before in history have we had to wear masks. Where they shut down the city. You know what I'm saying? Never has this happened. Never had not all these different diseases come out. The bird flu, the COVID, monkey, monkey pox, pox, monkey pox all, all that stuff, stuff is telling you keep coming out. It's going to keep getting worse and worse over time. But we have to keep God's law. That's our only defense. Read. And shall return unto the Lord thy God, and shall obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day. So it says, in the land we're going to be driven, what was we driven to? A miracle, right? We, but we were brought here on ships. You, you familiar with that history? We were brought here on ships. They don't teach this no more in school. They stopped teaching. When I was growing up, when all of us was growing up, they showed us how we were slaves. They showed us how we was on these boats, how they was killing us, how we had to work for free. All this stuff is documented history, but they want to erase the history. They don't want to teach the young kids this no more, because then they will identify who they are. They will identify the Israelites, read. Thou and thy children, with all thy heart and with all thy soul, that then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity. He says then, because right now, are we not in captivity? You know what captivity is? when you are not free to do what you want. That's part of captivity. When you are, somebody else is over the top of you and you can't, in, in all your neighborhoods, everybody is always terrorizing us, right? Police rolling by. That's in our captivity. We have no place to be truly free and safe. Read. And have compassion upon thee, and will return and gather thee from all the nations. You hear that? Read that again, that last part. And we'll return and gather thee from all the nations. And he gonna return and gather us from all the nations. That's what he gonna do. <laughs> but we gotta come back to God's laws. So the brother was bringing out the Sabbath thing. So do y'all, this, this is a simple question, let me ask you this. You been in church before? Do they show you how to, you know how to pray? All right, let me show you. Go to 1 Corinthians chapter 11. But I want to show you according to the Bible because we go to churches, but they don't show us how to pray, how to pray, how to worship God the right way, how to how to do those things that's righteous in the Bible. You eat pork? No. 
You eat shrimp? No. Lobster? No. Well, I'll pray. You, eat, you eat pork? Yeah. All right. That's against God. It's one of the things that's against God. We haven't been taught that. Bring it up. Let me show you this though. Read. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4. Every man praying or prophesying having his... Start at verse... Start up. Verse 1, 3. Verse 3. Verse 3, but I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God. So that's the order. Read that again. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So the head of the man is Christ. All right? So that's the order. Read. And the head of the woman is the man. Right. So it's God, Christ, Christ and the woman. man, and woman. That's the order how God set up things up. Read. And the head of Christ is God. And the head of Christ is God. Read. Every man praying or prophesying. So every man praying. If you're praying, right? Read. Or prophesying. Or prophesying. If you're hearing the word of prophecy, which this Bible speaks of. Read. Having his head covered, dishonoring his head. So Theodore. You heard that part? Yeah. What did it say? Before I leave any day, I'm letting y'all know this here because I have to get ready. I just got off of work. But before I leave in the morning, my family prays. Before I leave to go to work, my family prays. I'll pray. When I, I want you home, to... I'm going to pray right now. Right. I wanted to see if you caught what it said. Though, I really wasn't paying attention. Yeah. Pay attention. Yeah. I'm yeah. Right. 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 I wasn't paying attention to that one. Yeah. All right. All right. Read that again. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonors his head. Who is the man's head? Christ, right? Right, the Lord. Right, so he says, what it says, read that again. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonors his head. So you cannot pray with the hat on. No, no, oh no. Yeah. You're not going to hell. Yeah. You can't pray with a hat no. on. Hold on. You can't pray with a hat on. And you cannot listen to the word of God with a hat on. No. Because that's going into the spirit of prophecy. Right. All right, so you're, you're going to uncover your head? That's what we're talking about. There you All go. Right, I'll pray. Well, that's what that's going into. So when you're hearing the word of God, yeah. you, you have to, to show respect, you have to uncover your head. That's but right. But for the women, listen, listen, but for the women, we, I'm trying to show how God wants us to pray. Okay, well, I want some prayer before I go home. You want some prayer? We about to give you a message. We about to show you how you can, your prayers can be heard. Right. Bring it out. Read what you got. But every woman. Well, let me show you this. Let's listen. Read. But every woman that prays or prophesies with their head uncovered, dishonored her head. Are you praying? You pray, right, sis? You heard what it said? Read. But every woman and prayed or prophesied with her head uncovered dishonored her head. So if you're praying and your head is uncovered, you dishonor your head, right? And your head would be your husband if you had one, but then if you don't have one, it would be Christ. So you are commanded by God to have your head covered while you're praying or hearing the word of God. You understand that, sis? Did you know that? Did you know your, your head was supposed to be covered? No, it's, I'm just telling you what it says right here. All right, so you understand that? If you're praying, your head's supposed to be covered. You have to put a scarf on, or something got to be covering your head because that's showing respect to, the, to Christ, to your Lord, because if you don't do that, you are dishonoring your head. Read. For that is even all one as if she were shaven. Right, so that's what that's going into. But let me tell you that if you are in the midst of sin, God doesn't hear your prayers. Give me John, give me John chapter 9, verse 31. Say, what, you got a question? God is your friend, no matter your head starts to come down. I come out and I come out and come out and come out. You say, what? I come out and say, God is your friend, I'm just coming out and come. It's up to you. That's, I'm just telling you what the Bible says. You can't read on what. I've been telling you that's been really rich. So you don't believe the Bible. That's basically what you say. I believe the Bible. Okay, then, so you question the Bible. Though, yes, so that's right. No, you shouldn't question it. Why? Because it is the word of God. How are you going to be judged? Okay, first of all. How are you going to be judged? Man? First of all, they got a black God here. Do you know if he's black or white? I know he's, Christ is black. That's the depiction of Christ right there. Do you know he's black? Yes, let me, let me show you out the Bible. 
Can I show you at the Bible? You don't have to. Wait, well, I, I, I am because we're not we're not making things up. So I'm saying first, you then you delete. I didn't say you were making things up. I'm telling you. It was that's different. It was different. That's, That's true. I understand. My mother raised me in church in Mobile, Alabama. We got on our knees every night and chanted, Jesus, 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 Jesus. She died at 32. God wanted her up there for something for her to do. Ma'am, listen. This is what I'm showing you. Out of the Bible, how you, we have not heard this message. You have not heard that you're supposed to have your head covered when, when you pray. I don't that's what the Bible say. This Bible was written in 1611. Because that's what it, the date and the copyright. Translated, that, translated. It was translated in 1611. That's what the Bible says. So you don't believe the Bible. Let me show you. Ma'am, listen. I'm, do you want to learn? Do you want to hear what we got to say? So you already know. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you how the Bible with the color of Christ. Give me that. Revelation chapter one verse one. Bring it up. I'm about to show you. Bring it up. But here we go. Let's bring it up. This is the book of Revelation. We about to show you. What's your name? Hold on, sir. Let him show you. Hold on. Let me show you how the Bible. I already know the business. I know the business. Ma'am, let me show you how the Bible with Christ. Look, Come here, sir. What y'all trying to do? Trying to show our people the things that we've been told, we've been lied to. Obviously, if you knew, you would have already been lied to. Some things that you teach, I lied. And we have to go back to God's law. Come on. Go ahead. 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 Listen, like I said before, you ain't trying to hear the word of God. So here we go. Anyway, like I said before, we had to teach the so-called black. I already know the word of God. I already know the word of God. Why are, are women out of order? Arguing with men in the middle of the street. Having pants on. These things are against God. These things is not about to bring us any salvation. We out here to try to help our people. We came out here to be able to bring solutions to the black community. That's right. But every time we come out here, somebody always got something to say. We are bringing out God's word. That is all. Your problem is not with us, it's with God. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth